Donald Trump made a brief stop Saturday at the Las Vegas Police Protective Association, where he thanked them for their endorsement and vowed to support them all the way. The Las Vegas Police Protective Association announced their endorsement of the former president earlier this year. LVPPA is among other police groups lined up behind Trump, including the National Association of Police Organizations and International Union of Police Associations. During his visit Saturday, Trump touted Vice President Kamala Harris as one of the founding members of the Defund the Police movement. Harris expressed praise for the Defund the Police movement after the murder of George Floyd in 2020, questioning whether money was being effectively spent on public safety. However, she has not said during her current campaign that she is in favor of defunding law enforcement. Trump also continued to disparage migrants in an Ohio community, further fueling false claims the Republicans have promoted even as the city saw bomb threats and school evacuations and local officials called for a cooling of the anti-immigrant rhetoric. I don't know what happened with the bomb threats. I know that it's been taken over by illegal migrants, and that's a terrible thing that happened," said Trump. Not going to happen with me, I can tell you right now. We have tremendous law enforcement endorsements. We have military endorsements. We have a lot of them. But I just really appreciate it. It's very, very special. Nobody can believe how bad they've done at the border, running our country, the economy, inflation, Afghanistan, everything. I mean, they haven't done anything right. Uh, the thing they're best at is cheating on elections, so we have to be very careful. That's about the only thing, that's about the only thing they do good at. So I just want to thank you. It's an honor to be here. And uh, I'm with you guys all the way, uh, all the way. Yeah, and we have no doubt about that. But anybody that's a member of Defund the Police, especially a founding member, and even if you're in that group for one day, you can't be president of the United States, all right? And she is uh, one of the, she's one of the uh, founders and stars of Defund the Police. And that's why they have no, uh, no, no support whatsoever. But you can't do that even for a day. So thank you all very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. JD's doing a great job, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He'll uh, he'll do very well. JD's going to debate. Yeah. Did you denounce the bomb threats in Springfield, Ohio? Uh, I don't know what happened uh, with the uh, bomb threats. I know that it's been taken over by uh, illegal migrants, and that's a terrible thing that happened. Springfield was this beautiful town, and now they're going through hell. It's a sad thing. Not going to happen with me, I can tell you right now. Thank you very much. Thank everyone. you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Former U.S. President Donald Trump said that he will be the border president in a speech heavily focused on migration at a Las Vegas rally late Friday. Trump also strongly criticized Vice President Kamala Harris, frequently referring to her as Comrade Kamala Harris. We dismantled her terrible record, we exposed her radical liberal agenda, we laid out our plans to quite simply make America great again, said Trump referring to Tuesday's presidential debate in Philadelphia. Three months ago, we had a monumental victory. We had a beautiful victory three months ago. And then a couple of nights ago, we had an even better victory. We took her on, comrade. Kamala Harris, we took her on and we did really well every... We dismantled her terrible record, we exposed her radical liberal agenda and we laid out our plans to quite simply make America great again. <laughs> Meanwhile, comrade, Kamala Harris, comrade. Showed up spewing lies and meaningless platitudes with no plans, no policies, and no solutions whatsoever. She doesn't have a clue. And the American people are damn angry, too. We're all angry. Country's being 
wrecked. That's why 53 days from now, we're going to tell Harris that we've had enough. Our country can't take it anymore. Comrade Kamala Harris, you're fired. You're fired. Get out. Get out. When I return to the White House, I will launch a special task force of elite federal law enforcement and charge them with crushing and eliminating every foreign gang and organized crime network that is conquering our country. This will not end well unless Donald J. Trump is elected the 47th president of the United States. But I can end well. Because I am your border president. From now on, I want to be your border president. That this border crisis is 20 times worse than it was in 2016. But I'll get it solved. I'll get it solved fast. And we'll get back to making our country strong again. And I only want to be addressed no longer as Mr. President, Mr. Border President, sir. Because we got to get this border fixed. We got people. Starting on day one, I will seal the border and stop the migrant invasion. We will carry out the largest deportation operation of criminals in American history. We will defeat inflation quickly, and we will make America affordable again. We're getting your prices way down. We will make America the dominant energy producer in the world by far.